Hello again. Today I'm going to be taking you through a typical day here in Canterbury and telling you what it's like living in another country. Most of my classes only meet once a week, so I normally have one class each day, but the classes are two to three hours. After that, I have a lot of free time. One place in Canterbury I go to a lot is the Waterstones Cafe. Waterstones is a big change bookstore similar to Barnes & Noble. The cafe is a nice quiet place to go and get some work done and meet up with friends. And I also like looking at the books. Canterbury has a lot of fun events going on around the city. One week, I went to a food festival. There was so much to choose from, and it wasn't just British cuisine. The vendors had food from all over the world. I also attended a reception for the school at the Canterbury Cathedral. It was really interesting because the Archbishop of Canterbury, who performed the Queen's funeral last month, gave a sermon. There is a theater here in the city, and I saw a production of Les Miserables. Les Mis is my favorite show, so I was so excited it was here, and it was amazing. A few other fun things I've been to are an Oktoberfest and a student shopping event. There are also quite a few tourist attractions here that are really fun. I recently went on a riverboat tour with some friends. Kent, the county Canterbury is in, is called the Garden of England, so the nature here is really beautiful. There are also quite a few museums. So far, I've been to the Beanie. The Beanie is an art museum and an interesting Victorian building. On nights when not much is going on, I like to go to the student lounge with my friends. It's a really fun place to hang out. They even have events like karaoke or trivia. The trivia questions were all very specific to England, so we didn't do very well, but it was still a fun time. <laughs> Most of my friends are other study abroad students. This has been great because they all want to travel, so it's nice to have a group of friends to go on trips with. We all come from different countries too, so it's cool that after this experience, I'll have friends from all around the world. My experience so far has been amazing. I feel like I'm really getting to know the town and I love getting to live here. In a couple of days, I'm heading off to Rome during the week we have classes off, so I'm super excited and I can't wait. Studying abroad is such a unique experience, so if you get the chance, take it. Next time, I'll be talking more about my classes and the academic side of things, but that includes the class where we go on field trips around England, so you'll want to see that. See you then!